What's up, everybody? Hi. What's up, everybody doing? Long time no see. It's been a while. Today is August the 12th. 12th. And yeah, we just figured since we're back at home, uh -huh. we'll just catch up on doing a video. Yep. Um, for everyone at chimed in and said hey what's going on how y'all doing we missed your videos here you go um so what we have for this evening we got two lobsters going on they still had that sale going on at shop right so if you have a shop right near you hit them up because two lobsters is going for like 16 dollars or less than that this week is actually a coupon for 5.99 per pound um, I have some butter today. I was in the mood for some butter. I had some lemons. We had some shrimp that were made with some uh, garlic powder, lemon pepper, Old Bay. Um, we have cocktail sauce. And my husband got some. Y'all um, know what I got. He got the dungeon. Y'all know what I got. So, yeah. That's what we got. Mm -hmm. So we're just getting in from getting my son settled in for college. He's all situated. Which for a parent like me is a relief. He's content, he's happy, mm -hmm. he's fine. So I'm good. Mm -hmm. Next time I see him, it'll be in a few weeks because it's family and friends in September, so coming up there, supporting. Mm -hmm. What's going on with y'all? Hope all is well. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I really got no, but you know, work and uh, yeah, work never stops. Yeah, school starts back up soon. Lucky for us. <laughs> Lucky for us, school starts earlier. Yep. See, down south and some other areas, school started like in August mm -hmm. um, in previous years. Our school district decided to start in August this this um this school year, which is great for me, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, I got my daughter that's going to high school. And my baby boy, what grade are you going to, Justin? Third grade. Mm -hmm. Little buddy going to third grade, y'all. You're going to do great, right? Going to work hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Work hard. Oh, can you tell them I'm going to be in Mr. Harrison class? You going to be in Mr. Harrison class? Yeah, he told me. You already know? How you know? I don't know. He just told me. He told you? Mm -hmm. Oh. You know, you like Mr. Harrison? Yep. He's, you think he's going to be a good teacher? Yeah. Okay. You, got, you hope. Got to work real hard in whoever classroom you're going to be in. I'm a good boy. Mm-hmm. I know you are. So we didn't pack, like we didn't take anything down. By him going to school out of state, mm -hmm. we decided to just do a lot of purchasing once we got down there. Um, so basically, um, for those who, a lot. for those who were asking me about um, what a trunk party is. Mm. This is this lobster so is juicy. Mm. But um for those that didn't know what a trunk party is, it's just a little celebration of the individual going off to college and then it presents the opportunity for them to 
create a, 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 a registry of some sort of some items that they would prefer or wouldn't mind having for school. Mm -hmm. um, it helps. It could help with just the dorm stuff or sometimes it even helps with tuition. Not every, every student gets a student loan. So, I mean, the grants and scholarships, I mean, so some people really had to borrow the money. Some people really need the money. Mm -hmm. And just because they really need the money don't mean they shouldn't try. So, I, I'm, I'm grateful that... I was fortunate where my son, first year, he's cool, he's good, and I have no concerns. His school did give him money, but, you know, it didn't fully cover tuition, but we made things work out, so his first year is fully covered. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. I thought these shrimps was gonna be bigger. Yeah, I did too. These are like some baby golf shrimps from like Chesapeake Bay or something. So while we was in shop, right? They had people. You know how they had tables where they display stuff and say, "Yeah, try this." Or to persuade you. Pepper or something like that. Well, that's how. That's mm -hmm. what he said. The seasoning was. Seasoning on, was, yeah. That he put on here. Mm -hmm. But um. And I asked them, I was like, what size shrimp are these? These is definitely not the same shrimp size. No, it's much smaller. I grabbed two lobsters because they was kind of small. Yeah, y'all, we couldn't wait to get back up here and eat. Not saying the food was that bad down in Virginia. I guess since they have their local spot, the spot you can eat at. One of the most local spots we know, we did go to Outback. Uh, and, you know, your normal fast food places. But other than that, uh, and it's crazy because our days was like being. Tied up. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, um, like when move moving day was Friday. So we went shopping Thursday the day before. We got the majority of the stuff. Mm -hmm. It was certain things that we couldn't get, like the microwave. Because it was only one microwave per room. And what my son did not know is if his roommate um, had a microwave. Yeah. And then the dorm room that they were sharing needed an area rug. Because if you would have got two different rugs, it would have made the room look kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was the most psychedelic. Yeah. Oh, crazy look for it. So we like in a position where we kind of had to wait for certain things for the day of. Mm -hmm. So basically, we got what we could get um, the day before the move in. And what we couldn't, we just got the day of the move. But the day of the move on Friday, we... Had no time because my son was antsy and he wanted to get to the school by 8 o'clock or 8.15 because he wanted to be able to have first preference over which side of the room he stayed. So that means we didn't get a chance to eat breakfast. So I'm not eating the head yet. I'm going to just go to this next lobster. Um, yeah, so because of that, we, um, basically missed out on breakfast 
and then we then as the day we kept pat we was passing certain spots but you know honestly we don't eat i we try not to do it like a lot of takeout i don't do like the burger kings and them little fast food i don't do any of them places like that very seldom that would you ever catch me doing something. So I kind of like avoided having to eat. I didn't say that nobody else couldn't, but everybody was just stuck on like getting getting my son moved in. So basically what it ended up resorting to was we went all day and didn't eat anything. Which is never good. It's not healthy. Yeah. But um, with us doing that, our first meal was Outback. So, I could tell you, my son is fixated with getting one particular meal, and it's like usually a chicken meal. But the rest of us, like my husband, me, my daughter, mm -hmm. we got um lobster and steak. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. And they happen to be running a special too, so mm -hmm. that made it even better. What? And when I tell you that food tastes heavenly, <laughs> I guess it was because the first mm -hmm. middle, of, middle of the day. Yeah. Yesterday, y'all, we did get a chance to get our turkey leg. We went to. Uh, oh yeah, we uh, went to King's Dominion. King's Dominion. Yep, we went to King's Dominion. Yo, they tried to stall us out with the turkey leg. We it was a line. It. it was a great. Mm -hmm. this, this, you see this? Look yeah. at the mm -hmm. wow. This thing was juicy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um. Yeah, it was a crazy line at um mm -hmm. at the Turk. And see, they not like Disney World. Disney World, like they be having it flowing. They don't play yeah. that. You go to Disney World on one of Turkey Lake. Mm -hmm. They got it. You know, on. one spot that just got that has it. But we got our turkey legs, mm -hmm. and we 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 stocked up on um extra. Yeah, man. we end up getting four turkey. Four legs. I know people online they were mad at us. The lobster and ham. Mm -hmm. Not sure. That's all right. <laughs> Look, the body and all that is all, but just the lobster too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, some people won't like this. Mm. It got all this green. Ooh, did y'all see that green stuff? Mm. What's the green stuff? Oh. Okay. I don't know. Somebody explained what it was, but I, I don't know. I'm not gonna sit there and try to explain it because mm. I'll probably explain it wrong. Mm -hmm. Some of those. Mm. Oh my god. What's that? But what was the name of that ride? Uh, the one where they locked our legs. And I, uh, oh, that was scary. The one where you kept saying you was felt like you was about like to One of them was called the Intimidator. Another one was called Dominator. Uh, the Dominator. Uh -huh. Dominator, he had the Intimidator. Intimidating, right? Intimidating. Yeah, it was a rock called the Intimidators. Mm. Everybody, but that was scary. Uh, Jay had a good time. When we was on the uh, roller coaster, ja my brother Jabril, he felt like he was about to hit his head, and I felt like I was about to hit my head, too. Mm. That's why they said, hold on tight. Mm. And we, we, when we was on that dragon kind of ride, oh, yeah. I got sick, y'all. Every time I get on those rides that rock back and forth. Oh, the sea dragon? Oh, my goodness. It gets got, me sick so, upside down. So, King's Dominion has the upside down sea dragon. Yeah, I and sick. I thought I was so about to fall down. Mm -hmm. And I, then flips upside who's down. Who's on the ride that, that spins around? You, All y'all go in there. It'd probably be like 30 people go inside of it. The Gravitron? The Gravitron. That thing gives me a terrible headache, y'all. That and that sea dragon. It makes me dizzy and it shuts me down. 
I really gotta stay away from those two rides. When I was young, was younger, I never had those issues. Now it makes me dizzy for a long time. We had fun at the water side too. They, you know, they have a water park. That was a lot of fun too. The water park was fun. Yeah. You like the water side too, Jesse? Yep. Mm -hmm. We got, we went on a um, little, of course, the two thing. Oh, yeah, the two with the, uh, yeah. Then, of course, the Lazy River. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. People have certain preference because some, certain people like Dorney Park, not Dorney Park, uh, uh, Bush, Bush Gardens. Gardens over um, Kings of Man. Yeah. And I went on, you know, yesterday I went on YouTube, and it was a guy, I guess he lives in, you know, uh, Virginia. Virginia. And he basically said it's very hard to decipher which one is better than the other. Yep. He said that they both have good rides. I believe he said that Kings Dominion has more roller coaster rides. Mm -hmm. But I believe that he felt that uh, Bus Garden had. Their vocals rise, even though it was even though there was less, were a little bit slightly slightly better. Let me tell you something. You going and then again, Kings of Man. Yeah, Kings of Man is different. 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 That I go through, that I go through for my job purposes, and um, I was thinking that the discount was going to be mm -hmm. for my job site. But how about we went on Groupon and found it even cheaper? Um, you know, Groupon, <laughs> and we found it even cheaper. We were able to pay, you know, get inside because the tickets boy was. Mm, I think it was like seventy dollars mm -hmm. for both. Seventy dollars. Opposed to group prime rate, which was like 40. Mm -hmm. $39 with taxes can't beat that. Yeah. So, you know, they, the gentleman said that, what did he say? He said, he said King, King's Dominion is a mu amusement park. And he said Bush Cartons is a thing. Was it a theme? theme park. He said, "Kingston was an amusement park." Oh yeah, and what's the Bush Gardens more of a theme park? And because that, it's different thing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and more so stick if it's Bush Gardens, and more so sticks to basically what it basically stands for. It's almost like if you went to uh, different sectors of yeah, like even like you went to different sectors of Disney World. If they had Sea World, then basically everything is, you know, had a lot of stuff to do with water and a lot of animals in the water. And, like, you know, it stuck to basically wherever the, the territory of the borough was, that's what they stick to. And that's how Bush Gardens is. Yeah. Bush yeah, Gardens like has a lot of, uh... Just different things. Different things that basically pertain to what the, the, uh, the name is all about. Like, Bush Garden may be, be a little bit more colonial, should I say. Colonial, that's the word. And they, that's how it is. When you go there, there's a lot of colonial-like type of step things there. So, this is the inner parts of the head that I'm just, like, sitting up here just de demolishing. Mm -hmm. I don't realize it is it's actually meat up in here. Mm. And no, I don't sit up there and eat the green stuff. Mm. I'll just wipe that out. Mm. But other than that, it's still meat. Okay. Oh, this is delicious, bro. This is, I know I have a bet on here. I know I sound like a broken record, but I get on here. I'm not telling you a lie. This, this is delicious. Now, I know tomorrow what I'm trying to do. Uh, 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 he like, uh-uh. Uh, this is a place called Dubu. And it's a Korean spot. And they sell the raw spicy crabs. 
I wanted some of them. Mm. If I can and I not be lazy mm -hmm. and drive up there, that's what I plan on getting. Right. And that would be my dinner. For the next couple of days, well, for the next day or so. Mm -hmm. If I could take that thing to lunch, I will. Mm -hmm. But things worked out so good for us. We have, we have looking at the weather report. It kept saying it was going rain. Mm -hmm. But you know, the rain, I would say before, the rain down south, a little, little different opposed to the rain up here. Like if you go to Disney or you go down there and you so it shows you rain, it's like it's almost like spitting rain. It, it doesn't rain for a long time. It doesn't rain long, so I say maybe they, you know it look like it's gonna carry on. I'm like I always keep thinking in my head like Jamaica. They call it a uh, liquid sunshine, and that's what it's like when you go down south. The liquid sunshine it doesn't rain, but for a long time it can show you that. But it can easily change very fast, as opposed to up north, you know. When they say sometimes it will rain, it rain. No, but it worked out real good. It worked out long enough. I don't recall it raining at all too much. While we was there. While we were there. Yeah. You know, but we had enough time to do what we want to do, have fun, to where it got to the point where we started getting tired, exhausted, and wanted to just come on home. So, we feel like we definitely got, our, you know, our money's worth. Well. It's a good feeling. Um to know that my son is settled in. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't sure how my reaction to him was gonna be when I left. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh but god. You know, so I, even with him being down there, it felt like he always he it was almost like he already felt at home when he got there. It wasn't yeah. like no nervousness. It wasn't like no unsureness. He felt comfortable when he got down there. Like he was like, I'm here. Like this is where I'm supposed to be at right exactly. now. Exactly right. Wasn't he? Yeah, I, thought, he had to, like, I know it oh, wasn't baby. just me. Uh, uh. Felt like it was no pressure at all. Like, like he wasn't. No aspect of it was he nervous. Yeah. Even though in the back of my mind, I do know that he had some he had some nerve nervousness going yeah. on because he wasn't sure his roommate. Yeah, I'll tell you the kids and and the people down there, mannerism and stuff is like on the money. A very on the okay, money. Kids are ignorant. <laughs> yeah, you know that's 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 always a given. You know, just like adults can be. You know, but. I don't know. They, they, how they say it, Southern hospitality. I really do feel like it's a such thing as Southern yeah. hospitality. And you know some, uh, you know the crazy thing about it, it was like a lot of mannerism. We were men, women. No matter where I was at, hotel or inside of a store. Excuse me, sir. Or excuse me. You know, excuse, everything was excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You know, everything was just this polite. You know, I, and I'm saying, not saying that I'm not used to that. But, you know, I do live in the city of brotherly love, <laughs> you know, and we all know living sometimes in inner cities, how things could be perceived and taken the wrong way and it can get ugly. Well, I, you know, because my, what my son, one, one of his favorite things is going to McDonald's. He loves McDonald's. Uh -huh. So in the city that we live, when I tell you I hate to label them like that, but they really act like they don't want to work there. They act like they miserable and mad that they got to work at McDonald's. Which is understandable. Because you got kids and stuff that work there, teenagers, even some adults. But sometimes in life, you know, you, you choose. And sometimes you got to live with your choices. No, that we I'm all do. It's no. not, you know, it's not supposed to be. But like I said before, I'm just being realistic, you know. You well, know. me being the field that I'm in, like I say it all the time. I'm a social worker. I, you know, I'm in the field of social work. Um, I count a lot of different 
families, a lot of different individuals, different financial status, and all kinds of stuff. And all I'm going to say is this. I try not to let my personal life interfere with my professional work environment. But I also love what I do. And I feel like that's the difference. So it never, ever comes off as work to me. I'm always going to be respectful. I'm going to always treat the individuals I come in contact with respect and dignity. If I hate my job, you're not going to know it. Because I'm not going to show it to you. But that's my mindset across the board. I feel like everybody should think like, <laughs> like that. I never told nobody to work for this particular job or that particular job. You chose to work there. So treat your your customers with respect and dignity. But everybody down south was so polite and and real respectful. So I appreciate that. It kinda mm -hmm. like it made me feel like, dang, that's why I wanna move down south. Husband don't want to. I wanna move down south. So, um, but yeah, we went, I literally ate both of them lobsters. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, cause I swore in the back of my head, I was like, I got both of them, but I'm only going to eat one. No, I tore up both of them lobsters in this entirety. Hmm. Oh, well, it is what it is. Only thing left now is the shrimp, so... I just wanted to get on here real quick. Say what's yeah. up to y'all. Yeah, we want to say what's up to y'all. How everybody doing? We still here, y'all. We still live. And we appreciate our, you know, viewers and our subscribers. Some of y'all uh, forgot about us. And yeah, that's all right. Like, yeah, that's okay. And yeah, it, listen, it's still love. Whether we see y'all or don't, you know. We appreciate y'all accepting us and bringing y'all into, bring a, bringing us into, into y'all household. Uh, y'all household. Yep. On a social networking tip. Yep. All right, well. Hopefully, I'll be on tomorrow because mm -hmm. I'm going to get me some raw crabs. And I may, be, on may, here. I may be... be eating something else. I'll probably be on here with them, but I won't be eating that, y'all. Just no, can't do it. It's something that you... Like, Andrew Zimmerman, if you ever watch Andrew Zimmerman on Food Network, he says you should always try stuff at least two to three times <sighs> together if you want to like it. Mm. When I first tried the royal crab, I was like, oh, no, I don't like this. But then the next time I tried it, I was, I was prepared for it. And it's, the crazy part is my daughter liked it. She liked it, too. It got a nice, unique taste to it. Now that I'm pre prepared for how, because it's really the texture. It's really a texture issue. Yeah. But, it, but it has when a I nice taste. I'm like, and it's crazy because I'm eating, a, I eat a crab. But the way it's almost like eating it raw, it's just like it's a different texture. But you don't like spicy stuff either. Oh yeah, well. Yeah. So that's the other disadvantage because it is spicy. So, um, yeah. So we gonna go. Hopefully, you all see us on that next video. Hopefully, I will go ahead and get the uh the crabs for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'll share that with y'all. All right, mm -hmm. peace, peace, y'all.